Hey guys, check in to see you again with some more Don't Starve, Rain of Giants. Alright, so what are we doing here? Our Watch and Learn series, so, you know, got this nice little base going. Sanity is a little lacking, though. Hmm, what can I do here? Hmm, health is fine. Food is fine. Alright, uh, Hudukin! Alright, do we have any veggies? No, we don't. Alright, the bee should be going away at the moment. It's a full moon tonight, so we can go get Glomer. I need to find some manure when I need to find. So over here's some spiders. Here's the, you know, the killer bees area. So... There's a deciduous forest, merms, and such. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab some essentials on the way. I have a lot of food on me, I just noticed. Hmm. Do I want this bush? I do want this bush. Now yeah, the 100% waterproofing is really coming in handy. Hmm. Yeah, let's take some twigs with us too. Alright, so for here, I'm going to try to fertilize my entire crop. That way we don't have to worry about it. And then, you know, every once in a while, just you know, pull the umbrella out. That way you guys don't get too wet and go crazy. Oh, there you go. Our air plugins are done. Make some tacos too. All right. I know it has to be filler. Let's throw some filler in there. Let's make that stuffed eggplant. And I'll put the corn in there too. Handy. Oh, that made me false. Darn. I was hoping. I think it's like a 50 50 shot that you'll get um, something else out of it. But yeah, I need a refrigerator. So you know what that means. It's time to go kill. Oh, I can get Abigail again. Been abusing Abigail. By not letting her out of her flower. And you'll kill something easy to kill. Alright. So, let's go ahead and do this. And get rid of this beehive right here. Right, just let one follow me. There you go. Have her get rid of him. Now I can get rid of most of the hives over here and I can domesticate them later. Cool. Get some more honey. Make a ton of taffy with this stuff. Get our sanity back. But there's easier ways to get our sanity back. That's stuff to act like I was talking about. Make a honey ham with these as well. Alright, let's get rid of our seeds. Oh man, I'm full of junk. Alright, bee stingers, be gone. Don't need those. Don't need those until we go to shipwreck. I have any charcoal. So, what I'm going to do with this, invent some papyrus. Alright, I did. Hmm. Well then! Some papyrus. Alright, what else can I invent? Hmm. Endothermic for summer. What else? Just add those as fuel. We don't need those. What else did it have in? Hmm. Guess I can get a golden axe. Don't really need that much gold at the moment. Go get rid of this axe. Hmm. <laughs> get some honey ham going. Let's go ahead and eat our butter muffin. Get rid of this as well. Mm 
There you go. Free stuff. That way we can stop getting stabbed by bees every time we come over here. And get rid of this one as well. You can also do the strat with spiders. It's actually really good. Uh, any Anything that's uh, small mobs and that they kind of group together like that. Abigail can really help you. Especially if you guys are having difficulty in spring and such like that. Like, it's a really, really good strategy. That's why I recommend her for newer players. In my opinion, she's really good. Really, really, really good. I might let this monster meat rot so I can use everything else. I don't really need it at the moment. That is a blue mush tree, though. Hmm. And by the way, if you guys haven't uh, explored in the full moon, uh, you won't die to Charlie in the Darkness. But here's the the fun stuff about it, that you can walk around and the world gets kind of weird when under a full moon. So flowers will turn into evil flowers if you guys want to farm for nightmare fuel. And, um, what's it called? Uh, mushrooms will turn into mush trees if you want to farm some little bit of wood with your mushrooms. Let's go ahead and plant these here. How oh, overpowered the, the golden weapons are. The golden tools are in um, just regular Don't Starve. Right, pull that out. Replant them. Get them honey nuggets. And since I'm pretty good on food for now. I'll go ahead and just grab some resources. A little low on twigs, I'm gonna grab these twigs. Alright, so we really gotta get exploring. I get I get so caught up in uh, building my base so nicely that I, you know I never really move. So also a carrot there. Come back for it later. So we have eleven days until summer. So we need to find a thermal stone. That way we can keep cool. And we need to make an endothermic fire pit as well. We need gold. That's our gold right now. Go get gold. Come back. We have plenty of resources in this immediate area to keep us, you know, keep us going for a while. And we have to worry about the beehives for a while either. So I'll leave us alone in in winter. In winter, I mean in summer. They'll go back to being normal bees. I also need a flingo too. Hmm. And there's our honey nuggets. Refresh that stack. Hmm. We'll go ahead and get rid of these fish sticks before they go bad. Okay. So we're good for now. Let's go hunting. Hmm. What keeps for a while? The honey. Honey in the seeds, we can go ahead and put them in there. We'll keep all this food for, for later. I'll let this monster meat rot, we really don't need it. Actually, let's take it, just in case we find pigs. And then we can recycle this meat. Alright, let's see where we want to go from here. I want to go through more wormholes. It's fine, we have plenty of resources for a fire. Remember to farm on your way to getting anything, that way you're always keeping up with uh, your resources. That way you don't, you know, run out randomly. Cause man, does that suck. Alright, we're back here. Probably where all the tall birds are, but that's fine. We can go ahead and cook them for easy meat. Alright, let's see if we can find any more gold in this biome. I do want to take advantage of uh, getting a fridge early and uh, getting a fridge early and getting a flingomatic, so we're gonna have to farm that ice. But I don't want to break it just yet. I don't have a fridge to keep it cold. Some more gold. All right, I'm gonna get as much rocks as possible that way I can make a thermal stone and we can make. Endothermic fire pit. And then we're going to be set for summer. 
only I can build a bridge to get over there easy. It's never that easy. Alright. Let me get like at least two stacks of rocks and a bunch of gold. Oh! Why, hello there! Free stuff. That's gonna come in handy when we find some uh, manure. I haven't found a boon all, all the entire time I was here, I think. Boons are great guys. Don't be afraid of them. They don't do anything. If you guys have come across a dead body like that, it's just like a failed survivor, you know? And they just give you free stuff. It's fantastic. So I'm, I'm really taking advantage of the full moon right now. Uh, by just, you know, farming at night, not worrying about dying to Charlie. So we can go ahead and get as many resources as possible, then we're going to go fight some clockworks. I'll show you guys how to fight some clockworks. We got plenty of healing items, so we can just, you know, take them on, no problem. And we have Abigail. She's not really that good to solo clockworks, so don't expect her to solo clockworks all the time. Uh, she'll probably die to them, to be honest, but, uh, you know, with us backing her up, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Besides, we need the gears. We need the gears for flingos, we need the gears for ice boxes. And we need plenty of cut stone. There's another beehive. Normally I dig up these graves with a little low insanity. Don't really want to be messing with that right now. I don't want to fight shadows at the moment. They're really obnoxious. Some people enjoy it. I don't. Because when I'm doing something, they show up and I'm just like, ah, go away. All right, look at this. There's a sleeping tall bird. If you guys have never seen, no, app Gil, oh, damn it. I hope she doesn't do that. Why are you going after me? Did. I think it's jam. Alright, so that's one tall bird, dead. Oh, there's another one right there. She's probably gonna aggro too. Oh, some rot, too. Ow. Dead. Oh, there's a morsel there, too. Hmm. I can eat this some health back. There's some rod. I want to pick it up, but I don't have room for it. There's a red mushroom there. I can pick up all the berries that I need. I was hoping for more rocks. Five gold is not a lot. Hmm. Go ahead and pick these flowers. Get them out of the way. Hopefully there's more in this area over here. It still keeps this uh, mosaicus biome. I think it's going to go to more forest. Hey, bunch of normal ghosts. Forgot ghosts do spawn out of uh, graves at night. Hmm. I can give that to the pig king, but I don't really need it right now. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Alrighty then, that's a lot of rocks. And there's some gold there too, nice. Alright, hopefully there's more gold nuggets just randomly lying around here. Yeah, there we go. Some graveyards you get lucky. There's a sinkhole over here, that's gonna come in handy too. Alright then. Let's go ahead and make ourselves another pickaxe. Alright, let's go find some clockworks. Huh. It's 
I'm pulling rocks. Alright, so we don't lose sanity. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so let's go get the clockworks. And we're going to make our fridge. And we're going to put all of our nice feast in there. Put all our jerky in there too, and our ice. We need to start harvesting this ice like ASAP. And if you guys did not know, if you guys find ice and you have an ice box, the ice will not melt. It will cease to rot in an ice, uh, an ice box. It's really handy for stockpiling a lot of filler. But yeah. Alright, clockworks are south of us. Oh, there's another bone over there. I'm going to go smack them. Those boons are really, really handy. I hear them. There he is. We're gonna use a good weapon for this. Come on, Abby, help me. It's really not that bad. You can take a couple hits. You don't really need to even kite him. Just tank him, in my opinion. Alright. Oh, shit, frog rain. That's not good. Well, we'll try to lead him into the clockworks. Abby's probably gonna die here, but the frogs seem to be attacking. And then they'll go and fight in the clockworks and we'll get more even more gears. Bye Abigail. Sorry. Oi. Hmm, I wonder if they fight each other. Let's see. I do want those frog legs. I'm going to eat my seeds. I want to have these flower. I don't want to come back for it. Alright, let's make it back to base. Fuck getting dumpstered by frogs. Alright, we're almost there. And from here, we can go ahead and make ice boxes, and we can go ahead and make a flingo as well. And we'll start collecting ice. This is the boon. It's a free dart, but we don't need it right now. Oh, there's the lure plant. Does the lure plant work? <laughs> Good way to get rid of a killer beehive. I'll show you how to clear that in the morning. For now, we need to make it back to base. Because spring is mostly dusk. It's not fun to be out here. Saving. Oh, we got a pumpkin. Oh, a sweet potato, too. Right, let's go ahead and put... What can I put in here? Alrighty, then. Put Abby's flower in there. Keep the food. Go and put the boards. Keep that actually. Make another chest. Put some junk in there. Alright, let's go and make a refrigerator. Hmm, I think I can make one more crock pot around that thing. So, time to go light some stuff on fire. tracks. I'll probably come back to that.
<laughs> Alright, go ahead and drop this grass. Oh yeah, I did burn some stuff over here. Alright, how much is it for that? I need two more. Never have enough charcoal. <laughs> Alright, I'll let that burn. I have enough. I'll make it, I'll make it. I didn't make it, but still. So 15 logs, go and put them to use. Torch out. All right. Put my spear in my hand. Okay, we can go ahead and make us another crock pot. So we need three cut stone. Two, three. All right, three crock pots it is. our food in here now. We don't have to worry about it. Look at that. Progress. Now I have 11 rot to fertilize everything with. We got a watermelon too. Nice. Let's put that in there. And damn bees. You guys are so annoying. these toys we got now nice so now that we got our little base going we're getting self-sufficient at this point we can keep using the farms to get food get berries and such now we need to go make a flingo let's go farm some ice all right let's go ahead and put this in here along with the rocks along with the gold we don't need these right now Make a hand bet. All right, and then watermelon. We can go ahead and get rid of these. God, what a collection of bee stingers I have. Alright, I 
I got seven gold. Nope. Okay, cool. Let's get going. Let those guys cook. I'll come back to them. I should probably eat something. that. Yeah, we can go ahead and camp out over there too. Did I plant the seeds? Alright, we need to make a flingo ASAP. That we need before we start getting into summer. We can go ahead and start the flingo and keep it uh, turned off on emergency mode, and then we'll we'll be fine from there. Let's move the temptation away from the bees. Get them out of here. Cause they're coming towards my base because of the flowers. And get some sanity back. Okay, should be fine now. It's okay, I have a giant bee farm at the end of this. All I need is literally one beehive alive, and then we can literally make a giant bee population. A decent amount of sanity. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Alright, let's go farm some mice. We need at least 15, and then we'll have a lot of filler left as well. What does this fill? 37... Alright, here we are. We need 15 ice to make a flingo, so. Hopefully, we get lucky and there's just, just enough to make a flingo. Oh, I forgot! It gives you rocks and normal don't starve. And then we also need to make a thermal stone. I'm tempted to go into that wormhole, too. Like, really tempted. Alright, eight. Take me where there's ice. Oh, wow. Wow, go frog. I oh, killed it. So that wormhole, just not very useful at all. Hmm, there's more ice down here, but can I make it down there? Yeah, it's fine. We'll make a trek. Spit that. We need the ice badly. And night is upon us. Alright, we're going the right way, I think. Mayhaps. There we go. Ooh, Chester! Chester. Oh, whoops. Alright, what else can I put in you, boy? Hmm. More clockworks. Wow. Oh, and I found beefalo. Nice. And I can get manure. Sweet. 
sweet. Do I need this? Now, let me get over here. But I don't think this connects. Oh, there's Glomer. So I'm gonna have to go through that wormhole. Or I can just keep exploring on this side of the peninsula. We'll see. And it's morning. I can dry off. Oh, they're in heat. No, that's bad. I hear the goose of the moose. Either that or it's Berger. Oh, that's what we want right here. Nice. Look at all that free pig skin. Oh yeah, what a boon to find. So now we have a, an area to kind of resurrect ourselves. If you guys didn't know what touchstones are, it's the you know easiest way to resurrect yourself and don't starve. When you die, you automatically go there. Need your poop. Now people are aggressive in spring when they're mating, when they're in heat, so you gotta be careful. Chester keeps bouncing around and you won't get hit by them. Mainly looking for more ice though. But the manure is good, that way I can fertilize my whole fields. And keep them fertilized. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be much anything useful around here besides the beefalo. And dead end. Sadness. Ooh, free mushroom. Count as a veggie in your crock pot, by the way, if you need to make a crock pot vegetable. That was really good. Oh, and this guy's pretty good, too. Hey, buddy. Give some seeds. Nope. If you break that thing that he's sitting on, um, you can get something to go into shipwrecked. Which we'll do later. Definitely. I'm going through this frog area. Alright, and then... Still? No? Still no ice. Sadness. Just a big old deciduous forest. Deciduous E forest. It's not the actual one. Alrighty then. Let's go back home. Guess we'll wait for the glaciers to kind of resurrect themselves. Hopefully Chester doesn't get lost. Alright, we're almost home. Ah, oh, home sweet home. What can we make? Bloop, bloop. And a vegetable. The ice in there so it doesn't rot. Keep those petals. Alright, what we're gonna do with these bone shards that I wanted is 
go ahead and make a bucket of poop. And then we can go ahead and fertilize our whole base. Well, most of the base. You get the idea there, right? They help a lot. And it gets rid of bones. <laughs> it's a win-win. Chester. Alright, buddy. Hmm, put that in there. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, the next episode we're going to go ahead and get that flingo. I promise we can get that flingo and we're going to survive through summer. I'm going to get an endothermic fire pit. It's going to be great. I'm going to get rid of this manure as well. Put that there. But thank you for joining me once again. Always a fun series to record. Hope you guys are learning a little bit of how to survive. It's not that difficult, even starting in spring. So, bye guys!